All right, and welcome back to Bizarre Repairs. Today we got a cool little video, something that is near and dear to my heart. And what is that? It's the iFixit toolkit. I've used this thing on countless phone repairs, uh, laptop repairs, tablet repairs. This thing is my go-to. iFixit, they make a great product. Um, all their stuff is, is, is fine. Um, so recently, let me just move that over. I was doing a repair and I didn't have one of the bits that I needed. I had actually lost it. Actually, no, I didn't lose it. It, uh, it finally stripped itself out. Um, after, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of, of uses. But yeah, as you can see, this is the original iFixit toolkit. I bought this thing years ago. So um, I went ahead and finally said, I'm gonna go ahead and buy their new one. And that's what we're just going to be taking a look at today. So here's the old one. I'm not getting rid of this. This is still my go-to. I'll probably keep that in my backpack or maybe just in a secondary location. But let's just go ahead and open up this bad boy, the new one, and see how it is and if it's anything different from the old one. And maybe they added something new. We don't know. We'll see. All right, you guys, stay tuned. All right, so this is the new iFixit ProTech Toolkit all of our signature tools in one kit. Uh, this can fix drones, cameras, phone, tablet, toys, consoles, laptop, desktop, smart home, uh, and much, much more. 64 bits, four millimeter drivers on the back. We're not gonna go through all those, but it pretty much gives you um, everything you got. And we're gonna go uh, through all these just really quickly to see. And then I'll try to open up something and see if it works, which we know it does. All right, so let's just get this open. So far, even the packaging is much better than the last. I'm quite impressed. All right, so now I did open this before and take out a couple stickies that I uh, used to stick all around my laptop and my PC. All right, now for the meat and potatoes. So nice Velcro, sturdy case, even better than the last one. Everything is upgraded quite nicely -wee. look at that all right make sure I'm nice and zoomed in here all right so before we get to the goods oh, and look at that this has like a magnetic pad here keeps it in place sweet all right so let's just slide this on over and see what we got here All right, so let's take a look at what we have on the inside of here. Let's start with the Jimmy. Okay, so this thing is upgraded. I never had one like this. This thing is fantastic, okay? Uh, you can get in with any kind of little spaces you need in with that thing. Oh, uh, now let's take a look at the metal spudger. So that's just your metal spudger tool. You can use that to open up any connector pieces and stuff like that. Uh, next, we're gonna go with the halberd spudger. I hope I said that right. The Halberd Spudger. Anti static spudger with a blade and pointed view. Um, this thing can uh, open up uh, connector clips and stuff like that, ribbon cables, all kinds of goods. All right, and it has a hook on the bottom, which is sweet. All right, this is just your regular plastic spudger tool. Anti static as well, pointed on each tip. Um, I use this thing quite often and ended up. Uh, losing it and uh, now I got it back so I'm a happy man alright these are blunt tweezers you can just use these to pull things apart put connectors in um, they're EDF safe tweezers they're flat and they're rounded so that's pretty cool next we got the angled tweezers these are really really um, useful so you can same thing get these in in little little places pick things out um, mostly for connectors. Even if you drop a screw, you can use it to uh, you can pick it up. All right, these are reverse tweezers. Now, I've never had a pair of these ones before, at least this, uh, 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 the quality and durability of these and the pressure. When you press on this, um, you really feel it. So for a connector, um, if one's stuck or you need to get it out, I can actually per place this on the connector, let it sit, pull it back, and I think you'll be good to go. Um, so this thing is uh, pretty cool. I like it. Like it a lot. All right, what's next? All 
All right, sweet. So next is going to be our anti-static wrist strap. I'm gonna not gonna lie to you guys. I don't use this too often, um, but it's something you should do. Throw it on your wrist, ground yourself out. Um, it is best practice to do so, but I rarely do, and I do have a lot of static on my hands. So uh, this is just something I I need to get better at, and I'm sorry. Let's just get that on in there. Alright, these are just your plastic opening tools. You can use these to open up glass uh, that's connected to frames and stuff like that. And uh, these things are a lot more durable than the ones I'm used to because the ones I'm used to normally break. These ones look like they're going to last for a while. Alright, then you, you just have a suction handle. Uh, you know, let me stick it on the wood here. That's not going to work. Just. Uh, Something like a phone, you can use it to stick on like so and uh, pull glass off. Everything on here feels phenomenal, guys. I'm not going to lie. This feels wonderful. All right, that's it for that. Let's... All right, so let's move on to the main kit here and look at this beautiful specimen here. All right, so I'm just going to read off some of the things that it has. Phillips, flathead, torque, torque security, pentalope, JIS, hex, tripoint, nut driver, square, gambit, spanner, triangle, semi-jack bit, oval drive, magnetic pickup, iPhone stand-up, and uh, a one-fourth to four-millimeter drive adapter. So, yeah, a whole boatload of stuff, and, you know, um, you might use... I don't know, maybe 30, 40% of these, but it's good that you have all of them just in case. Um, this is the kind of kit that, like I said, you're missing one screw, and then you're going to have to go try to buy one like I did last week, and, and uh, that I pretty much wasted money because it was a crappy kit. I ended up buying this. So let me zoom in here, and you can see. Let's just go ahead and grab the 64-bit driver. This has an ergonomic handle, provides plenty of torque with swivel cap and magnetized bit holder. So I'm just going to throw a bit in here, and you can see that these are longer than the ones uh, in the original iFixit toolkit, which is great. You can just slide your bit on like so, and then um, it actually swivels, so you can hold the top and uh, screw in, which is something I use all the time. Let me just place that back in there. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom in and let you see all the bits. Like I said, you can check these out for yourself, but you can see how they have them labeled with their, uh, their, their symbol and then their number underneath. So you have, the, like I said, the Phillips, the hex, the square, the T symbols. Everything's labeled. I do wish it was printed in white so you can see them a little bit better, but, you know, I'm just nitpicking. You, you should be able to see them fine. Just make sure you keep them nice and organized and... Uh, don't be like me where you gotta organize this thing every so often. Keep them um, in place. All right, so that's the kit. Looks fantastic. Build quality, 10 out of 10. You'll probably never need another one unless you lose a piece. All right, so this is the flex uh, extension. Um, you could just extend your reach with this and get more torque uh, for screws because it's rubber, and you can get into hard to reach places. I don't use that too often, but um, the torque part of it is actually pretty cool if you if you need that extra torque. Okay, uh, that's it for now. We're going to go ahead and just uh, grab one of these bits and get an iPhone and open it up and see if this works. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the two screws that are on the bottom of my um, iPhone here. I think this is the P2. So hopefully I can get it without being too blurry. So just pull the device out. I already grabbed the bit for it. And like I said, it actually comes out a little longer than the old ones, which is really cool. Let me see if I can zoom into that where you guys can see it. Perfect. All right, so let's see if this gets in and actually bites it. And we can turn. Get my hands out of the way. Oh yeah, it's got a nice feel. Really snug. 
cheap ones will strip these things out really easily that comes out really nicely let's check the next one same thing really nicely comes out really nicely really easy I mean I already knew that this was going to be quality but this just confirmed my suspicions all right let's go ahead and throw them back in as you can see these are magnetized so you can just grab it like so I mean that's a must when you're doing repairs because these things fall all the time slide in turn Grab the next one. Perfect. Perfect. All right, just like that, you're good to go. All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll put the link in the description for the iFixit toolkit. This thing is highly, highly recommended. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.